Thank you so much for joining us at six. Some people in Oakley say it's getting tough to get around in the traffic there. So really what happens is FC Cincinnati builds a completely new stadium there. Well, plans are already in the works to come up with solutions should the team relocate. Nine on your side's Tom McKee talked to community members. He's live with what he found out. Hi, Tom. Hello, Tanya. Well, this is Oakley Square. It's very, very busy right now because traffic comes together from six different directions. The rush hour, busy. Nights, busy. Weekends, very busy. But it could, it could get a whole lot busier if FC Cincinnati builds that stadium just down the road. Mad Tree Brewing sits on Madison Road and traffic whizzes by at a fairly good clip. Parking is often at a premium as the place fills with customers. I think it's fairly calm. Um, usually when you start to see a peak will be during the holidays or also during uh, like Sundays around noon, you know, when Crossroads lets out. Crossroads Church is across the street with three services every Sunday. The church has 2,000 parking spaces and a traffic control team. We spend about $250,000 a year on detailed police officers, so not officers that the city's providing, but that we actually pay for outside of that. A new wrinkle may be an FC Cincinnati Stadium at Oakley Station. That would add thousands of people and more cars in the neighborhood dozens of times a year. Chuck Mingo is Crossroads Oakley Campus Pastor. If that was the case, while that certainly would have a traffic impact, we want to be good neighbors and we would love to figure out how to, how to work for that and how to make that work for everyone. That's what City Council's Budget and Finance Committee called for Monday, a traffic study to determine exactly what road improvements are needed in the area. Mad Tree Brewing co-founder Ken McNutt has several ideas he hopes are considered. I'd like to see more multimodal, more pedestrians, uh, more bikes. Um, I, it will definitely encourage car traffic. So from a pedestrian standpoint, it could be, there could be an effect there. On Oakley Square, the 20th Century Theater draws crowds to multiple events, and owner Mark Rogers has ideas on how he'd like to keep them safe. Put in a pedestrian bridge somewhere between 32nd Street and 34th Street that crosses the railroad tracks and enables to give Oakley direct access to the stadium site. And then build some of that parking on Oakley Square. Lots of ideas, lots of work still ahead. One thing was very interesting that Pastor Mingo told me, those 2,000 parking spaces at Crossroads, he says nobody from the city or the county or the team has ever approached them about the possibility of using them. If they asked, you never know. The answer could be yes. Tom McKee, not on your side, live on Oakley Square.